Hello everybody. Uh, today we are going to see one more theorem which is depend on the concept inequality relations in triangle. Okay, so this is theorem number four. Already we have seen three theorems which are depend on the same concept. Okay, so now the statement is given see of all the line segments that can be drawn to a given line from a point not lying on it. The perpendicular line segment is shortest. Okay, figure is given in that if you observe figure, you have seen line L is given and P is a point which is not lying lying on line segment. Uh, sorry, line L and P L is perpendicular to line L. Line L, L is other point on line L. Okay, other point on line L. Okay. So other than M, hmm? so see here carefully. First we will take given things. Line, line. What is given in triangle? Line L is given. Line L and P is a point. P is a point which is which is not line. Which is not line. On line L, according to the given statement. Okay, N is a point. N is a point on line L, other than other than M. Is there are two points other than M? There are two points on line L. Okay, so this is these things are given. Also, what is given? PM PM is perpendicular to line. PM is perpendicular to line. L. Okay, this is perpendicular to line L. Now, second thing to prove. Okay, what they are asking? The perpendicular line segment is shortest. Okay, see here of all the line segments that can be drawn to a given line from a point not lying on it, the perpendicular line segment is shortest. Okay, so means here line L is given. And P is a point which is not lying on line L. Okay, if you take line segments, then this is a one perpendicular and this is one taken. Okay, which is not perpendicular. So in that we have to show PM, which is perpendicular. PM is shorter than PL. Okay, PM is shorter than PL. So that is our target. So to prove PM is shorter than PL. Okay, so this we are going to prove. Now proof. Okay, very simple proof. You can do very easily. See, angle. This angle is 90 degree. Okay, according to the angle sum property, the sum of three angles will be 180 degree. So definitely, sum of angle P and angle N. Angle P plus angle N is equal to 90 degree. So angle N is smaller than angle M. Okay, angle M N is smaller than angle. Okay, so according to that, we need to write. So in triangle, in triangle PMN, PMN angle, angle PMN is equal to 90. PMN is equal to 90. Okay, this is 90 degree, and just now I told you the sum of these two angles will be 90 degree. So 90 plus 90 will be 180 degree. So definitely this angle P and angle N. If separately we will take, then angle P is shorter than angle M. Also, angle N is shorter than angle M. Okay, so here we can take angle angle N is shorter than angle M. Angle N is shorter than angle M. Why? What is the reason behind this? Angle M is equal to 90 degree. Angle M is equal to 90 degree and Angle P plus angle N is equal to 90 degree. Okay, so each one angle from this each one angle is less than 90 degree. Okay, so here we can give angle P is shorter than 90 or angle N is shorter than 90. Okay, so that we have taken here. Angle N is smaller than angle M. Angle N is smaller than angle M. Okay, so now. We know that side opposite to greater angle, side opposite to greater angle. 
okay which is greater angle this and which side is opposite of this pn okay and opposite of n which side is same pn and we know the theorem side opposite to greater angle is larger side opposite to greater angle is larger so according to that we can say or uh, angle m is larger or greater so which side is same pn pn is greater pn is greater than pn 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 is greater than pn okay so what we say will do side opposite opposite to greater angle greater angle is larger is larger okay so on this basis we have given here proof and that is only pm is shorter than pn okay so that if you want you can write according to this pm is shorter than pn anyhow this and this is same okay so this is the fourth theorem from this uh, inequality relationship type okay so after this we will see some examples okay see here our first uh, example which is depend on the inequalities of triangle in a triangle abc if angle a is equal to 45 degree and angle b is equal to 70 degree determine the shortest and the largest side of the triangle okay so very simple two angles are given from with the help of angle sum property we can find out third angle okay see suppose here triangle abc this is triangle abc angle a is given 45 degree angle b is given 70 degree and angle c we can find out with the help of angle sum property so here angle a plus angle b plus angle c is equal to 180 degree okay angle a is 45 degree plus angle b is 70 degree plus angle c is equal to 180 degree okay so here 45 Plus seventy, forty-five plus seventy is equal to hundred and fifty. Plus angle C is equal to one eighty degrees. So angle C equals to one eighty minus hundred and fifty. One eighty minus hundred and fifty. Okay, so it will be angle C is equal to sixty-five degree. Angle C is sixty-five degree. Okay. Angle C is sixty-five degree. Now we can decide shorter side and longer side. Okay. So here, which angle is greater here? Seventy degree. Okay. Seventy degree. So definitely AC is the AC is the longer side of this triangle. Okay. After that, which side will come? Sixty-five. Means after seventy, if you arrange these three angles in descending order, then seventy degree, sixty-five degree, and forty-five degree. Okay. So seventy degree. Opposite of seventy degree, which side is coming? AC. Okay. So AC is greater than after that sixty five degree, which side is opposite of sixty five degree? AB. AB and after that, forty five degree is the uh, smaller angle among this. So opposite of angle forty five is BC. So finally BC. Okay. So they are asking find the determine the shortest and largest side of the triangle. So we have to give. Shortest side, shortest side is BC, and uh, largest side, largest side, side is AC. Okay. What is the reason behind this? Side opposite of side opposite to greater angle is large. Okay. So we can give here reason side opposite, side opposite of. Opposite to greater angle, greater angle is larger. Okay, side opposite to greater angle is larger. So according to this, shortest side is BC and largest side is AC. Okay. Okay, see here example number two is in figure PQ is greater than PR. QS and RS are the bisector of angle Q and R respectively. Prove that SQ is greater than SR. Okay. See, figure is given. 
once again you will see PQ is greater than PR. PQ, this said PQ is greater than PR. Okay. So one thing you will come, uh, one thing you will understand from this figure that is if PQ is greater than PR, then definitely opposite of angle of side PQ, which is greater, that angle is R. And opposite angle of side PR is Q. So definitely according, according to the given information, angle R is greater than angle Q. Angle R is greater than angle Q. Okay, so that thing we are going to use to give the proof. Then we have to prove that prove that SQ is greater than SR. SQ, SQ is greater than SR. Okay, so now here we will take first what is given in triangle in triangle PQR in triangle PQR what is given PQ is greater than PR which is given PQ is greater than PR PQ is greater than PR so we can write angle angle PRQ is greater than angle PQR PR this side is greater so opposite angle is R so that R angle is greater so PRQ is greater than PQR. Okay. What is the reason? Of, the reason angle opposite of larger set. Angle opposite of larger side. Larger side of a triangle of a triangle is greater. Is greater. Okay, so this reason. Now, these are the bisector. QS and SR are the bisectors. Okay, so this I am saying if you will take half of this, okay, half of both the sides, then half of angle PRQ is greater than half of angle PQR. Okay, both the sides we have taken half. So, half of PRQ, half of PRQ. Okay, half of PR. What we can write half of PRQ? Either we can write PRS or we can write SRQ. Okay, any. Hmm? Now we are thinking about this triangle. Okay, so we will take, we are going to use QS and SR. We have to decide about QS and SR. So we will think about this triangle. Okay, so now half of PRQ, half of PRQ, we are going to take SRQ because SR is the bisector, so definitely this both the angles are same, that is given also. So that I am taking half of PRQ is equal to angle SRQ. SRQ is greater than half of PQR. Half of PQR we will use SQR. Angle angle SQR. Okay, so SRQ, SRQ, this angle, this angle is greater than this. This angle is greater than this. So, if this angle is greater, opposite side of greater angle is always larger. So, we can write SQ is greater than SR. SQ is greater than SR. Okay. And that only we have to prove. SQ is greater than SR. Okay. So, which reason you will write? Side. Side opposite of. Side opposite of greater, greatest angle angle is larger. Greatest angle is large. Okay. In between this, these two angle, this angle is greater. So opposite of that, which side is coming SQ and opposite of this, which is smaller than that, is coming SR. So SQ is smaller than SR and that only they are asking to prove. Okay. Thank you.